Hi. You've caught me on a filming day today. Uh, but just before we get going, I wanted to come on and answer a question that I had from our last video. So David Nicholson, 1883, asked a brilliant question on the How to Tow video about my view on towing capacity versus the 85% rule. So let's start at the beginning and just quickly explain how each are calculated. So firstly, towing capacity is calculated by taking the train weight of the vehicle and deducting it from the gross weight of the vehicle. So if you look at your VIN plate, it's the second number down minus the top number. And that will give you your towing capacity, i.e. how much the caravan or trailer can weigh on the back of your vehicle. The 85% rule is calculated by taking the curb weight of the car and ensuring that the caravan never weighs more than 85% of that figure. So i.e. I have gone to collect my fully laden caravan ready for my two week holiday and I'm going to collect it in an empty car with just me driving it. That way the fully laden caravan will never exceed the weight of the empty car. So how are these things calculated? So towing capacity, that, that actual figure, how do they, how do manufacturers come up with that figure? Well, that's done under test conditions and manufacturers will have a rigorous system of testing that will include the, the chassis, for example. It will also include the um, braking system, the engine, the cooling systems, and that's how they work out how much that vehicle can tow. Now note, it's under controlled test conditions. Road safety experts, they're going on, they're thinking about road safety. So they're thinking about the experience of the driver. They're thinking about the road conditions. They're thinking about the volume of traffic. They're thinking about the weather they're thinking maybe they're bringing statistics into it as well. So both of them have got validity. Both of them offer fair and valid points. But which one should you follow? Now, for me, whilst manufacturers provide that technical tested information, that I'm in no doubt the vehicle will do that, I'm more likely, personally, I'm more inclined to go with the road safety advice because that's based on, as I've said, real world examples. It is the M5 on Bank Holiday Monday in poor weather. That's where the road safety advice comes from. And that's the, that's the way I'm more likely to go. So in conclusion, and in answer to the question, I would always make sure that I am towing within the manufacturer's guidelines so I'm not exceeding that towing capacity, but I always use the 85% calculation to ensure that my fully laden caravan never weighs more than my unladen car with just me in it. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of opposition to what I've just said, and I'm sure there's going to be some comments, and I welcome them. I'd, I'd love a debate on this. But do remember, when we're talking about Isuzu D-Maxes and Range Rovers, um, things like that, they have been designed and built and constructed differently to a standard car. So a more commercial vehicle like the Isuzu's we used at the NEC will have greater capacity to tow a commercial trailer because of how it's been tested and constructed versus a standard family car that's primarily going to be towing a caravan. Now, as my videos are more about caravans, that's the angle I'm coming from. So for me, when I'm towing a caravan, I never exceed the 85% rule for safety reasons. So I hope that's helped and cleared things up. 
Um, do comment below. I'd love to get a, a conversation going about this. Remember to click like, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you click the little bell, you'll get the reminders when there's a new video coming. Keep watching. I'm just about to go and do nose weight. So I'll see you soon.